and thank you for joining us for Levy Park On Demand. We have a really fun game that we're going to teach you how to make yourself and then how to play um, with items that you should be able to find at home. Um, my name is Stephanie and I'm really excited to teach you all how we construct wall pong. Uh, so for the supplies that we need for this particular project, um, I have an old sign here that I can use. A great flat surface would be wonderful. A cardboard box could work really well. Um, for those of you that maybe have like a sliding glass door or a wall, you could absolutely do it on a wall or a sliding glass door or window. The thing to be mindful of when we play this game, and this is where our next supply comes in handy, is we really want to be making sure that while we're indoors, we use very soft balls. So I have a ping pong ball here that's going to work great for my board and this would also be pretty friendly for inside the home for on a wall or sliding glass door so something that's very light um, and isn't going to cause any damage we need some cups so just basic uh, reusable cups would be fantastic we need about five of those at least so I have some cups here and then the last item that we need is some tape um, I have more of like a duct tape type to ensure that my cups stay secure on my board but if you are using a window or a wall, I definitely recommend a painter's tape or something that's a little bit softer um, to use instead. And then the last thing that we're going to need is some markers um, or a permanent marker. My board is uh, really shiny and so normal markers don't work as well so I have a permanent marker today but um, the downside of that is I can't make my board beautiful and colorful so if you do have markers, crayons, colored pencils that's definitely an area where you can get super creative with your own wall pong at home. So to go ahead uh, and grab those ingredients that you may need, and if you don't have them ready, go ahead and pause the video here, and then join us in just a moment when you have all of your ingredients and supplies ready, more supplies than ingredients, and we'll go ahead and get started with some wall pong. Now that we have all of your ingredients set, the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is grab a little bit of tape. What I'm gonna do for this tape here is I wanna be cognizant of how large my cup is while I'm affixing it here to my board. So I wanna go ahead and measure off a piece of tape. And this can sometimes, especially if you're using a duct type tape, it can be a little bit strong. You may need a bit of a hand from an adult if you are doing this on your own. You wanna go ahead and tear off a nice hearty piece and you're gonna grab one of your cups I have my ball stored there so it doesn't roll away. So I'm gonna grab a cup from the bottom here. And you're gonna want the cup to be attached to the board with the open side up. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that on my board and then I'm gonna use my tape to affix my cup to the bottom right hand corner of my board. So this is the beginning here of our wall pong board. And what our goal is, is with the cups that we have, we're gonna go ahead and put them in different locations on our board. Or again, if you're using a wall, you can do that as well. So then we have different areas that we're aiming for when we play with our ping pong ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other areas affixed. And maybe we might be able to put this video on hyperspeed while I go ahead and take care of that. And I know that you guys are doing that at home. Hopefully we are coming out of hyperdrive as we quickly put those cups on. We have a much nicer version that uh, we'll go ahead and share when we teach you how to play the game. But I wanted to go ahead and show you how I have my cups attached to my board here using this tape. And now on to the next part, which is going to be using our marker to go ahead and assign point values to some of these cups. Um, this one looks like if I play here, they could kind of bounce off maybe. So I'm gonna put my highest point totals at the top and my lowest at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my marker and just arbitrarily assign however many points you wanna play with. I'm gonna go ahead and do, I think I'm gonna do 250, I'm gonna do 100, and I'm gonna do 50 points at the bottom. Now you can decide whatever you want. If you wanna play for a million points at the top and negative six points in a corner, however you wanna do that, I think that could be a lot of fun and you can also adjust the points as you play. Let me write these points on here. A big 250 on top, 250, 100 for the middle, 50, and you know what? Just for fun, I'm going to put a negative 10. You never know what you can get with wall pong. 
So now that my board here is complete, sans any fun decoration, we are ready to go find a fun place in the house to play wall pong. So go ahead and grab your board and get your ping pong ball ready and we'll show you how to play. All right, so we walked throughout the park and found a great place to play wall pong today. So as I promised, we have a much prettier board. So the magic of editing, Ooh, look at this wonderful board that Lindsay and Amada, Aleda used a little bit earlier. So what you wanna do is you're gonna take your wall pong board and you're gonna lean it up against any wall surface, the side of your bed, um, anything that you wanna kinda use to keep it steady. And then you're gonna take your ping pong ball and from here, all the challenge is now is to go ahead and toss that ping pong ball. Hopefully it's not windy inside your bedroom. Uh, toss that ping pong ball into the cups to earn points. So other ways that you can make this game more challenging or a little bit easier. In our pretty board here, we have very small openings to all of our cups. You could use a larger cup to make the game a little bit easier or use the smaller cups to make the game a little bit more challenging. You can also play around with it. You can try and bounce the ball off the ground, onto the wall pong, into the cups. So there's different ways that you can do it at home but it's really fun. And you can definitely decide to say the best out of five throws. You can try and see the most points that you can score in one minute. There's infinite ways that you can play wall pong at home. So I hope you all give it a try and go ahead and comment and share your photos and videos of your games down below in the comments or through our uh, social media pages at Levy Park Houston on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then lastly, if you'd like to support the park and all of our programming, including our Levy Park On Demand programs, you can visit our website, levyparkhouston.org. Thanks for joining today.